Hey y'all, it's me, and welcome back to another day at the Dawn's Daily Devotional, reading out of Experiencing God Day by Day. Today is October 15th, and the title of this devotional is called Discouragement. The verse of the day it comes from 1 Kings 19, verse 14, and it reads, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of hosts, he replied, but the Israelites have abandoned your covenant torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am, am left, and they're looking for me to take my life. God forbid. The devotional reads, Kingdom work can be challenging. You can give everything you have to God's service and come away exhausted. This is what happened to Elijah. God had just used Elijah to call down fire from heaven, in a spectacular display of divine power. But Elijah's exhilaration was soon replaced by strenuous work followed by death threats, causing him to flee for his life. Now he was alone, exhausted, and discouraged. Again, God came to Elijah. This time, he came not in the fire or in a loud, spectacular way, but in a still, small voice. God's servant was tired, and God brought him comfort. Elijah's focus has shifted from God to God's enemies. He had allowed his circumstances to overwhelm him, leaving him disoriented to God and fleeing and feeling alone. So God encouraged him. God provided Elijah for him as a helper, friend, and companion. God removed Elijah from the activity for a time so that he could rest and spend time with God. When the nation saw Elijah, he was rejuvenated and refocused on God and his assignment. If you are overwhelmed by kingdom work so that your focus is no longer on God, but on all that there is to do, let him comfort you. Listen to his gentle voice. He will encourage you and provide exactly what you need to prepare you for what comes next. If he needs to remove you from your work for some time, he will. He may place a friend or a collaborator beside you to help carry the load. God knows exactly how to encourage you. Let him do so. Okay, okay, okay. It makes me think of all the wonderful, beautiful friends that I have close to me in this life. So thankful for all of you guys. You know who you are. Look around. I know, you know, I always say that nobody is an island. Sometimes making friends with people is a little bit challenging, but if there is this one person that is always there for you and hears you when you are silent, I really do believe that that might be the person that God sent to you as your helper in time of need. Lean into those people, really cherish them and thank them for just being there for you and try to be that person in someone else's life too. God is always with you and make sure you focus on him, not any opposition or enemies. Keep your focus on God's will. Keep that top of mind today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.